we have our next question which says given two data sets with the following variables so a description of the variables present in the data set named hr and data set named disp has been given each each of these has like for hr we have sub jd variable visit variable and h rate variables and in this data set we have sub jd variable visit variable and status variable and it says each data set was sorted by the subject identifier and merged together and we have been given the data step which is merging the hr and disp data sets based on the values of sub jd variable and the resulting log is shown below the log messages when this step of the when this merge is being executed is provided in the screenshot it says there is a note which says merge statement has more than one data set with repeats of by values and 13 observations read from hr and six observations read from disp and the output h rates has 13 observations and five variables so the question is why is the blue note showing in the log the blue note is merge statement has more than one data set with repeats of by values so sas can only handle sas data step merge can only handle one to many or one to one merges so it cannot handle many to many merges okay so when we have what, what do we mean by many to many so when we merge two data sets we match merge based on the values specified values of variable specified on the by statement here in this case the by statement has only one variable which is sub jd so when there is more than one record in the input data sets in both the input data sets with the same value of sub jd it becomes multiple records for same value in two data sets at that time when we try to merge those two data sets we get this note saying that the merge is not may not be producing the result which we require so let us see if we have some options which is talking about multiple values in the sub jd variable in two data sets that is hr and disp the variable the first option says the variable visit occurs in both data sets but is not included in the by statement what happens when we have common variables in the two data sets but if it is not specified in the by statement the values from the right side data set overwrite the values from the left side data set so even if we don't specify the visit variable we do not get this note this note we will get only if there is more than one record for subject id in both the input data sets so this option is not the right option so we have the second option which says there are no observations with matching values for sub jd in either data set so when we merge two data sets based on the values of a specific variable or set of variables so when we do a full merge we would get all the required rows from the two data sets in the final output data set so this is also not a correct option which would have produced uh, this merge statement note and the third option says there are multiple observations with the same value for sub jd in both the data sets there are multiple observations with the same value for sub jd variable in both the data sets so as discussed so this seems to be the right answer but before concluding this as the right answer let us check the last option the last option says one of the two data sets has multiple observations with the same value for sub jd so if one of the data sets had only one record with a value of sub jd but the second data set has more than one record with the same value in sub jd it would have resulted in one to many merge so in that case so it would have been appropriate merge and sas would handle it so we do not get the merge note in this case of one to many merge so the correct answer is the th 
third option which says there are multiple observations with the same value for subs ID in both the data sets. Let us check if our answer is correct. The screen turned green. So the our option was the one which was referring to multiple observation with same value for subsidy in both the data set. The correct option is also the same. 